Automation can affect the labor market in many different ways. It's also going to affect society in terms of their political preferences and what they want the government to do for them. We need to understand fears of automation in order to understand the changing political landscape. I work in conflict prediction and their machine learning makes me a lot more productive in crunching information. We assess people's fear of automation in a very blunt way. On a scale of 0 to 100%, how likely do you think it is that you might lose your job due to automation, robots, and artificial intelligence in the next 10 years? Some people, about 1 in 5, are not afraid at all. They think the probability is 0. Then there's a small fraction of people, less than 1 in 20, who think that they will definitely be replaced by a computer in the future. People in jobs that involve preparation of food or moving material, they're very afraid. Those that are least afraid are the ones working in social services or protective services, so that have a, a human component. When looking at the respondents, we see that people who have a stronger fear of automation tend to vote differently. In our study, we were looking at the US population, and there we found that Democrats are on average more in fear of automation. People tend to consider themselves more left-wing rather than right-wing, when they become more in fear of automation. When looking at other behaviors and preferences, we see that people who are in fear of automation prefer a greater welfare state. They want higher taxes, more unemployment benefits, and also more transfer payments in general. When we provided people with information about the likelihood of their job being automated, some people were receiving good news, whereas others were receiving bad news. Those people who were receiving bad news are increasing their preference for a redistribution in society. In contrast, those receiving good news don't seem to change their opinions. They seem to respond the same way as those who don't receive any information at all. Policymakers and politicians have to understand how they can design policy, which might alleviate some of these fears of people and might also prepare them for the future to come.